Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Today we are actually going to look at how to put down uh, rats for your snakes, for frozen thawed. Uh, this is your one and only warning. If you do not want to see rats being put down and euthanized, click off the video. I don't want to hear no bullshit in the comments about it or you'll be blocked. This is our small um, CO2 chamber, basically. That's what we're gonna use to put down the rats is CO2. Uh, this is a, <laughs> we've had this for a few years, so it's a little beat up. I, re I need to redo uh, weather stripping and all that. This is a, I believe like a 28, maybe a 32 quart tub. Uh, on the lid, we uh, bought just your basic weather stripping and, and put it on there all the way around. If you'll notice, the rats like to chew on it if you leave them in there too long and they even chewed this off right here. But this okay, I, I, they still they still get enough CO2 uh, in their system to put them down because CO2 is heavier than air. So when your rats are down in here uh, going to sleep basically and they're laying down, well, all the CO2 is down here and the oxygen's up here. Of course, you I will show you in a minute how we push all, almost all the oxygen out of the tub and uh, not allow it to come back in. That way we can make sure that they're down and we don't have to gas them again because that can be inhumane in itself. You know, you want to get it right the first time. Uh, but when they're laying down in here, they're laying down in CO2. Have I had it to where too much oxygen has come back in? Yes, we have had rats pop right back up uh, from not being gassed too much. And then in that instance, we have had to, you know, regas them and that just makes me feel bad to regas a rat that should have been gassed right the first time. So, and if you don't gas them right, you might even end up with some chewing out of the bag and ending up in your freezer dead. And that's even worse death for uh, a mammal to go through a freezer like that and die. Uh, don't want that happening. So we euthanize them with CO2. I'll show you the CO2 bottle over here. Uh, we went to a local fire extinguisher um, company and bought, uh, this is a, 50 pound tank, I believe. Um, doesn't come with the hose. It doesn't come with this little connection piece. I honestly cannot remember where I got that from. I think my wife got it. I will check with her and leave the uh, information in the description on what that is. But you basically need that. It has a uh, like a little nipple, threaded nipple on the end. Some of you welding guys might know what this is. Um, and we just took a hose and clamped it on there long enough to where, you know, we don't have to have the tub sitting right next to the tank. And then on the other end here, if it'll focus, we got a, on the other end here, we have a universal, just quick connect, uh, air hose connection. You just pop it right on. You come down to this nipple down here, come down to this nipple that's hanging out. It's another air hose nipple here. And I have a uh, washer right there. And on the opposite end, there is a nut holding it in place. So basically all I have to do, well, tent, one-handed ain't gonna work. All you have to do is clip it on there. Just push it right on. It's a quick connect. Uh, always have bedding in your tub. So, you know, when they poop, poop and pee, it's not going all over the tub. The lid, the lid's pretty basic, uh, other than the um, the damn weather stripping on the bottom. I lose my train of thought. We put a, drill a little hole here. What this is, is just a little metal elbow. Uh, honestly, I couldn't, like I said, I can't even tell you what the hell it's for. I just went to a hardware store and saw pieces and uh, kind of Frankenstein me a uh, tub. But it also has a hose attached to it. And what it, what it basically does is actually this lid's on wrong. Lid needs to be that way. Your CO2 comes in here, goes in, fills up the chamber. Remember it's heavier than air, so it's settling down. Oxygen's been being pushed up. So oxygen is being pushed up and out of here along the hose and out. So we fill that up until the rats are um, all laying down. And then I will actually come over and plug 
that hose with a highlighter so no oxygen gets back in. But that's the basic setup for that. And next we will show you some actual rats being put down. All right, I got some uh, mediums in this tub now. I got about 30 of them. They uh, probably a little bit too much for this size tub, but I don't want to operate my bigger one. Actually, I need to show y'all my bigger one. All right, there's the big tub. As you can see, it's significantly, significantly bigger than the, the one below it. Uh, the only problem with this one is I don't have weather stripping. I have the hole up the top, but I don't have weather stripping around the lid and I have had instances where rats come back to life in this one. So I wanna get weather stripping on this one before I use it anymore. Uh, because, you know, I don't wanna have rats come back to life. I wanna get this right the first time and as, a hum as humanely as possible. Man, I can't talk today. All right, now that they're all in the tub, I've showed you the other tub. We are going to go ahead and latch the tub. Believe it or not, guys, I tried shooting this footage earlier and dummy me did la <laughs> didn't latch the tub up. All right, now we come over to the CO2 chamber. We grab our uh, air hose connection like I showed y'all. Of course, it's not gonna focus again. And I'm gonna try to do this one-handed without the tub moving. It's real easy, just pop it right on. Okay, but these CO2 tanks, they can be tricky. Uh, you can open it up just a little bit and for some reason, I just want to push a lot of CO2 in. So you got to be real careful. Man, that was too much. I'm just barely adjusting it. All right, I know it's going to be hard to watch for some of y'all, but I gave you a warning. Uh, as those rats are going to start, yeah, it's starting to kick back up. Hold on. Turn that down some more, not up, down. Okay, the rats are going to run around and they're going to lay down. See, they're laying down. I want you off. Sometimes you gotta shake the tub up because if they get up too high, they're gonna be getting oxygen. So once they start laying down, I come up here and I plug my hose with my highlighter. That way no oxygen can come back into the hose. And I'll run this for, I don't know, about another 10, 15 seconds, make sure they're good and Good and down, I'll give the tub a good shake to make sure they're all pretty level. And uh, then we'll back them up. Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> My wife's standing behind me doing the camera. Uh, so we got the rats down here, and now we're going to bag them. Okay, what I like to do with my rats, and I know I might be a weirdo or whatever, but I like to squeeze out any poop that's inside of them because for us and for any potential customers that buy them, they, uh, when they reheat them, they're not going to get, you know, poop all in their bucket. And uh, I also get all the bedding off. So I put 10 mediums per bag. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Get that turd out of there. Make sure all the bedding's off. And I'll just alter, alternate them just like that all the way up to 10. Okay, and I also like to get as much air out of the bag as possible. If I know that um, I have like a whole surplus in the freezer or something, I know I'm not gonna get to them very quick, I will actually vacuum seal them. But I just sold off 100 of these, so I got plenty of room. So what I'm just basically doing is bending that over and trying to get as much air out as possible. Of course, it's not working when you wanna film something. But uh, we'll get all the air out. I'll probably get more air out than that. And uh, I got 20 more to bag and then they'll go in the freezer. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. Okay, so we have the mediums uh, in the freezer now. Something y'all need to do if you're doing frozen thawed, rotate your rats. Make sure you have a rotation. That way you can use the old before the new. Um, as we can see, we have mediums over here we have mediums over here and we used to have mediums up here but as you can see our freezer has gotten a little bare <laughs> we sold off i think 100 smalls 100 mediums 40 extra large and 40 2x i believe uh the other day so freezer is running a little low but that's our uh, freezer 
just a upright freezer nothing special so uh yeah that process is in the books and done 30 in the freezer 30 more actually i want to show y'all something else too while i'm thinking about it. i keep track of our inventory so i'm going to put plus 30 four five one so that means i got 154 mediums now i had 224 i have 154 now as you can see we have zero pinks 137 uh fuzzy 117 pup 61 weaned which i need to kill more of those off uh probably in a couple days because i'm going through like 18 weaned a week right now uh 80 small 97 small plus 154 medium eight extra large and nine three eggs which are big big rats we're talking 415 to 475 let's see here this is a 3x and there's a there's a 3x right there pretty large of course i got small hands but that's a that rat is probably eight inches long eight inches from about right here to here yeah big old rat for my big big uh bow and berm customers that's how we put down our rats it's the most humane way possible with co2 instead of i've heard some people bashing their heads slinging them really hard on a table bash their heads real quick cervical dislocation i've heard of that too uh, but co2 is actually the only humane way to do it as far as i know um, if you have any questions on how we did that on how to assemble the the chamber or uh, supplies that we used uh, hit me up. I don't know where to get that piece. Just check out your welding stores. Uh, they might be able to help you out. Uh, I'm probably not even going to attempt to try to tell you in the comments where, or in the description where to get it because I don't want to mislead y'all. So hit up your welding supply, call around, show them pictures, show them the video. Uh, they should be able to fix you up. So, uh, but that's basically it. Pretty simple. And if you got any questions, again, just hit me up. Uh, I'm willing to answer any questions. Uh, tell me tell me what you think in the comments if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up be sure to share uh, share the video to your friends it helps to grow the channel and uh, subscribe if you haven't we'll catch you next week